Hello all, this is Adam Stewart from stewartmedicine.com. I'm just going to show you a little overview of a toolbar that I use for preventative care uh, items for patients over 50 years of age. So here's a fake patient chart. You'll see a few toolbars. One is my general toolbar that I use. Uh, and then this other is a depression toolbar that I use. I've, uh, I've got a video of, of that on my website that goes into a lot more detail of that uh, workflow if you like. Uh, but the one I'm going to focus on here is this middle toolbar that's my, my preventative care toolbar that pops up for, for patients over 50 years of age. And there's a male and a female version. Uh, they're both very similar, uh, except for obviously the male doesn't include the mammogram and, and pap smear reports. Just just focuses on the colon screening issues. So I'll just show you a few things. Here, here it's automatically bringing in Nothing fancy, but it's bringing in the date of the last fecal occult blood, the date of the last mammogram, date of the last colonoscopy, if, if there is one, and then pap smears. It's bringing in the dates of last pap smears. Um, there's a reason there's two sections for that is because pap smears can be entered in two different ways in your chart. So one is a lab value and one is a pap test report kind of uh, lab, not a, or a report uh, item. So there's a date for each of those depending on which one comes in they sometimes patients have might have both the other the next thing is that all of these purple labels for these sections are actually buttons that filter out notes so if I click on FOB for example it filters out just the words just the word occult so it's just gonna bring me up stool occult blood tests if there are a few of them it would bring me up multiple ones again this is just a fake patient chart mammogram this filters out the word mammogram so it will bring up your mammogram reports there's multiple again you'd see see them all colonoscopy does the same thing filters it that word uh, pap tests will there's a few different buttons here one does filters it the word pap the other filters it the, the word transformation and that that's for the lab test pap smear because referring to transformation zone which is pretty unique to pap smear results as well PDF actually filters it the word pap test report and that filters out the the report version of, of pap smear tests so that's a quick thing that actually really helps my workflow uh, and other people uh, that have used it helps them as well. Following each of these sections, or, uh, you'll see things like this, negative Q5 year. So what that is, is that's I've set up the system to have custom vitals for the result of, say, a colonoscopy and the frequency at which it needs to be repeated. We don't just need to know the date, we need to know the results and how often does this patient need one in one year, three years, five years, ten years? Uh, so I have a little bit of a stamp that I use to, to document that in a standardized way. And the stamps are over here for each of these sections. So here's the colonoscopy stamp. So if I click that, if let's say I just got in a new colonoscopy report, so I read it, and, and let's say there was a polyp this time, and it's, it's automatically just saying it's bringing in the date of the last colon the date of the last one and and in this case I'd say oh there's a there's a polyp and um, and maybe it's you know the tab there and it's maybe they want to do it again in three years so what will happen is the next time I go in those charts again these are custom vitals set up col uh, colonoscopy result and at colonoscopy frequency but if I the next time I go in this chart it will refresh, the toolbar will refresh and bring in those last vitals. So, and there's similar uh, workings for uh, the mammogram one. That, that button just quickly installs uh, or puts in that stamp again. If I'm working quickly and I'm getting a mammo review, I just, with a couple clicks, I can have it really nicely documented or, or pap smear results too. Um, and, and, and that helps uh, workflow downstream, I really, really find. Here I have some super code buttons. So, with just a single click, I can track my uh, Q133 for FOBs, for example, and, and or just a single click, I can bill a Q142 as an exclusion for for tests uh, for the um, colonoscopies, for example, or the Q131, Q011. So those are set up as super codes that just will, will bill with one click, which is very useful as well. Uh, this one, the Q150, we give it a lot of, uh, when you're giving out the, the FOB test, uh, with one click, you can quickly bill the Q150 so you don't forget it to do it. It's just right there at your fingertips, boom. This section here is, uh, these are two new buttons that were I just put in. 
they are uh, meant to improve the efficiency of, of giving a fecal occult blood test. So, so with one click, if I click that, it inserts a lab requisition that already has uh, my signature and the colon cancer Ontario already clicked off as well. I, there's a print button down there, but I sometimes we just print from the top, so I put a print button there. So with what two clicks, you can go click insert print. You've got a lab rec with there, um, and then the other thing uh, I get the staff to do, uh, or and I and we do as well is we we track uh, document that we've given it and it's trackable with the standardized stamp. So if I click that FOB stamp, it just says this, um, and so again that's the one click for that that uh, feature as well. So it becomes very efficient to give out, uh, for example, fecal occult blood tests. So. Again, that's all on this topic. The, check out the other videos on the depression toolbar, and uh, maybe I'll make one in the upcoming with my general toolbar. Uh, thanks for listening.